I want to welcome you guys back to Muddy River Catfishing. Today I'm going to be doing a video on um, making chum combination with uh, as a bait for catfishing. Channel cats mostly blues. So what I do is I take typical chicken livers. A lot of people like fishing with chicken livers. I, I don't mind fishing with chicken livers but it's always that problem of keeping them on the hook and you know some people they they'll use a treble hook personally I don't like treble hooks because they get stuck a lot but uh, if you do a single hook you can take a piece of thread and wrap it on there that'll help hold it on there but I've come up with a way that I think works a little bit better and using chicken liver to not only make a bait but you use it as a chum so it has a it has a double incentive. So I take, this is what we're going to use. I take chicken liver, I showed you, sardines, and of course some chicken meat. This is actually thigh meat. The last video I did, we used chicken breast. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Whatever you buy, whatever's cheaper at the supermarket at the time. But we, co we combine these three to make a bait that serves as a bait itself and as a chum. So we're going to get to work and show you how to do it. Alright, so making this bait is pretty, pretty simple. You just take a blender, take your chicken liver. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing two, two containers of chicken liver. So my equation is basically one container of sardines and olive oil and one container so it's a one to one one liver one sardine from the sardine all I really want is the oil So I just squeeze that in there, I open it up just enough so it doesn't let the sardines out, but it lets the oil out. See how I opened it just barely right there. Then uh, another liver. other sardine and the reason I add this sardine oil is number one it has a scent to it already but because it's an oil mixed with the blood of the chicken liver I believe that it holds longer in the water so that your scent lasts longer So as to where blood itself is, you know, it's going to thin out eventually and it's going to wear out and, and it'll, it'll dissipate. The oil mixed with the blood, it'll last a lot longer. So here we are. What you want to do is blend this out until it's nothing but just almost like a, what you would consider like a liver smoothie. <laughs> so here we go. should be good now what that does it still gives you the it still gives you the liver scent everything like you would if you're fishing with chicken liver but now it's mixed with an oil base so that it lasts longer so now what you, this itself just this by itself will work as a chum you could actually dump this into the water 
and it'll attract the fish. So what I do is I combine it with the meat that I showed you earlier. I already, I already cut that meat here into, in, into chunks. We had talked about it last time. I, I usually use, eh, you know, one inch chunks, more or less. Always remember that the size of the bait that you use is depending on the fish that you're gonna catch. They always say the bigger the bait, the bigger the fish. I believe that's true, but some places are limited on the size of the fish. So if you're fishing in a pond that the average size fish is, oh, you know, a two pound catfish, you may not wanna use something so big. Whereas if you're fishing in another place where there's, you know, 10, 20 pounders in there, you wanna go with a bigger bait. So use your discretion, cut the bait to the size you want. All we do next is add this mixture into one of these containers. These are the 32 ounce. Add the chicken and top it off. You can mix it up if you'd like. Take a spoon and take, uh, you know, whatever you want. Mix this up together. Let this sit. Let it absorb. Let the meat, the chicken meat, absorb the blood, the oil, for a few days before you go fishing. And as you fish with this, it'll release it into the water. So this is how you make the bait. All right, so that is the basic process of how to take chicken liver and turn it into chum and bait working as a double just for you. So now I wanna do a little experiment and show you guys the difference between the chicken liver itself and the bait that we just made so we can see how they work in water. Hopefully this works. Okay, so what I've done here is I've taken two containers and I filled them up with water. We're going to add chicken liver to the left side and we're going to add the bait that we've just made on the right side and we're going to see how they respond when they're in the water. So here we go with the left side piece of chicken liver. Just drop it in there. And that just sunk to the bottom and there's not much really going on with that so now we take a piece of the of the bait we just made and drop that in there So neither one of them have done really much of anything. So I'm going to stir this up. And you can see the blood's coming out of the chicken a little bit. So the chicken liver, the water got a little bit murkier with blood. So now let's see what the other one does. This one, it releases chunks into the water. Can you see the small chunks floating around? So that, in my mind, is leaving a better scent trail that'll lead to your bait, as opposed to the basic chicken liver. See those chunks that came off? Oh, up there on the top. Compared to the chicken liver. Here's a here's a top view so you can see the difference of what's happened with the chicken liver. 
this is the chicken liver the water is a little bit cloudy but that's about it compared to the bait that we just made see all the small pieces floating up on top and the water's discolored to the point that you really can't see the bait on the bottom so in my opinion the second one the bait that we just made is working better in your favor to catch you more fish all right so that's how I make chicken liver into a bait that works as chum for my catfishing hopefully this this will help you guys catch more fish out there in the water and I want to thank you as always for watching Muddy River Catfishing until the next one take care we'll see you out on the water